Welcome guys to my channel. So today we are going to be creating this amazing accordion that can be used on mobile or web page. So as you can see, if I click any of this, it responds and then it tries to close back. So without wasting much of our time, let's jump into it. So to start, I'm going to add a text here. So I'm going to how to check transaction. So once I have that, I'm going to increase this to 15 and then I will reduce this to 15 and then I'll reduce this from semi bold to regular. So now the next thing I want to do here is I want to add an auto layout around this. So to do that, I'll press shift A. So I can center everything here. Okay, I can start from the left. So now I can add a background feel for this. So once we create an auto layout you notice that the weight here is a hog so i want to make this fix so that i can make this 400. so making this 400 you see my item the magic padding here is a 10 and then also the padding here is 10 we have 10 at the top and also at the bottom so we can increase this to let's say 20 that if you want to and then we can maintain the 10 for the top and bottom so now having this the next thing i want to do is i want to make sure that i have an icon here so i can manually just create this by selecting the pen tool i'll hold the shift click and then i'll drag this hold the shift while holding the shift i'll still do this so i can click on done here so now i have my arrow sign so i can reduce the height here so let's say i'm reducing this to 10 and then um, I'll reduce the width also, likewise. So I can lock this here. So now I can drag this and then I'll drop it inside here. But at this point, you notice because of the um, frame, I want this to be at the end. So now if you look at it, the space between this item here, I can change that to 50, but you see it just pushes this. So this is what we want to do. I'm going to select here and say instead of pack i will use space between so this is going to push this to the end here so this is having a margin of 20 so i'm having this at the end here and i'm also having 20 here so so the next thing we want to do here is i will select this item and also this other item here so inside please we want to convert this to also a frame so i'll do shift a to convert this to a frame so once this is converted to a frame, I can now select the outer frame here and convert that to a component. So this is now a component. So I'm going to click on this to add a variant. Make sure you're selecting this. So now the next thing I want to do here is I want to add the questions and also we want to change the sign of this. So I'll double click to make sure I'm selecting this um, let me open this. I'll select that from here. So I'll change this to minus 90. You see, it's facing down. That's so. The next thing we want to do is I want to add text inside this. So I already have some text on my clipboard. So I'll just drag this here and then let's see. I'll try to paste the text here. So now for this, my text, I want to drag them and put them inside the second frame here. So I could just select this. Let me make sure control X so I can select this variant two and then control V here. So now for me to fix this, I would have to select this frame and try to drag this here. So now if you look at uh, we are having some clashes here. So what I want to do now here is I want to change the direction of this. So if I select this, you notice that this changes so that is because you remember we had to group this so this is one item it will see this also as another item so when I select this I want to change the space between them instead of 50 we can say we want maybe 10 here 110 so you can add that to um, whatever you're comfortable with so let's go with 15 so I have a space between these items here so now the next thing I want is 
when the user click on this we want this to be open so and then we also want to be able to control these two items here so if the user tries to change the title here we want this also to be affected so we're going to create a property for that so please hold shift control or shift command then here if i scroll down here you'll see we have this content so i'm going to create text property so i'll just name that here maybe question here so create this property so now this two have a property so if i try to adjust this fees you see we have fees here so i'll just undo that and then i have the fee so the next thing we want to do is we're going to add a frame so i'm picking iphone 14 pro max here so now to add this i'll select this item here and then open my local component i can now drag this and drop it here so i can drag this and drop it here so i think i just want to add some little styling i'll select this here and then add a stroke to this i'll give it a stroke i also select this and give it a stroke here so i have this here so now having this i want to duplicate this for others ctrl d drag this and then ctrl d again and then d and d so now once we have this now we need to prototype this so that when the user click on this this opens this panel here so to do that i'm going to the prototype section and uh, i'm going to click on this then drag it to this point here so now on tab change and then we're using smart animate please smart animate then i'm going to click here once the user click on this also it should close to this back again we're returning the fable it should also be smart animate please make sure it's smart animate here so now i will select this and then try to open this but i'm going to show you why we need the auto layout here so we press this so once this is open let's select this item you see this is open but then it's not you know aligning if i try to open this this is clumsy so now i'm going to introduce the auto layout for this portion i'll select this items so we're going to press shift a to add an auto layout so i'll go back to design so here we can maintain the spacing between them so i'll keep thin so now if we click on this and then try to run this again one last time if i click on this you notice this open swiftly so um i just copied some of the this from my recent project so i will select this and then ctrl v here i'll just try to paste this so that we can open this to see a better aesthetics so if this was a real project so we can have our frequently asked questions and then you see if you click on this and then it's just responsive so for me to um we can now select this this is a group shift down and i could just type in frequently faq faqs here and then i can just do this here and we can make this maybe bold and then semi medium here so we now have our accordion here so the user can open all of this and then decide to see what is inside so you can use this mostly for frequently asked questions or you want to divide your web page into some section you notice how smooth the transitions are so i'm going to stop here and i'll see you in my next video thank you